16 Sneaky Reasons Why You Get Cavities Ever found yourself pondering, what happened, or, how did I get this cavity all of a sudden? Surprisingly, cavities have a knack for catching us off guard. In today's video, we'll uncover the reasons behind this dental dilemma. While we often associate cavities with poor oral hygiene and excessive sugar consumption, many other factors can contribute to tooth decay, we'll explore the various culprits behind cavity formation. Stay tuned till the end to unravel the complete picture. Dry mouth. One sneaky reason you may be prone to cavities is dry mouth, also known as xerostomia. Saliva plays a crucial role in neutralizing acids in the mouth, washing away food particles, and remineralizing tooth enamel. When you have a dry mouth, saliva production decreases, leaving your teeth more vulnerable to decay. Dry mouth can be caused by medications, medical conditions, dehydration, and certain lifestyle factors. To combat dry mouth and reduce your risk of cavities, stay hydrated, chew sugar-free gum, and use saliva-stimulating mouthwashes. Acidic foods and beverages. Another sneaky reason for cavities is the consumption of acidic foods and beverages. Acidic foods and drinks, such as citrus fruits, sodas, energy drinks, and fruit juices, can erode tooth enamel and increase your risk of cavities. Consuming these acidic substances frequently and in large quantities can weaken tooth enamel over time, making it more susceptible to decay. To minimize the impact of acidic foods and beverages on your teeth, limit consumption, drink water afterward to rinse your mouth, and avoid brushing your teeth immediately after consuming acidic substances, as this can further damage enamel. Snacking throughout the day. Snacking throughout the day, especially on sugary or starchy foods, can contribute to cavities by exposing your teeth to acids and sugars for prolonged periods. When you snack frequently, bacteria in the mouth have more opportunities to produce acids that can erode tooth enamel and lead to decay. Additionally, snacking on sticky or chewy foods, such as dried fruits or candies, can increase the likelihood of food particles getting stuck between teeth and promoting cavity formation. To reduce your risk of cavities, limit snacking between meals, choose healthy snacks low in sugar and carbohydrates, and practice good oral hygiene by brushing and flossing regularly. Acid reflux. Acid reflux, also known as gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, can contribute to cavities by exposing teeth to stomach acid that can erode tooth enamel. When stomach acid refluxes into the mouth, it can weaken tooth enamel and increase the risk of decay, especially on the back teeth where acid tends to pool. Individuals with GERD or frequent acid reflux should take steps to manage their condition and protect their teeth from acid erosion. This may include lifestyle changes, such as avoiding trigger foods, elevating the head of the bed, and taking medications to reduce acid production. Medications. Certain medications can have side effects that contribute to cavities. For example, medications that cause dry mouth, such as antihistamines, antidepressants, and medications for high blood pressure, can increase the risk of cavities by reducing saliva production and neutralizing acids in the mouth. Additionally, medications that contain sugar, such as syrups and chewable tablets, can promote cavity formation if they remain in contact with teeth for extended periods. If you're taking medications that affect your oral health, talk to your healthcare provider about strategies to minimize their impact on your teeth and gums. Dental fillings and restorations. While dental fillings and restorations are designed to repair damaged teeth and prevent further decay, they can also become sites of new cavity formation if not properly maintained. Over time, dental fillings can wear down, become loose, or develop cracks that allow bacteria to enter and accumulate. Additionally, plaque and tartar can accumulate around fillings and restorations, increasing the risk of decay. Genetics. Genetics can also play a role in cavity formation. Some individuals may be genetically predisposed to weaker tooth enamel or a higher susceptibility to cavities due to inherited traits. Additionally, genetic factors can influence saliva composition, tooth structure, and susceptibility to oral diseases such as gum disease and tooth decay. While you can't change your genetic makeup, you can take steps to minimize your risk of cavities by practicing good oral hygiene, eating a balanced diet, and visiting your dentist regularly for preventive care. Age. As we age, our risk of cavities may increase due to changes in oral health and lifestyle factors. 
Older adults are more likely to experience dry mouth, receding gums, and tooth decay due to factors such as medication use, chronic health conditions, and decreased saliva production. Poor oral hygiene habits. Poor oral hygiene habits, such as infrequent brushing and flossing, can significantly increase your risk of cavities. When plaque and food particles are not properly removed from the teeth and gums, bacteria in the mouth can thrive and produce acids that erode tooth enamel and cause decay. Dental anatomy. The anatomy of your teeth can also influence your risk of cavities. Deep grooves and pits in the chewing surfaces of molars and premolars can trap food particles and bacteria, making these areas more susceptible to decay. To minimize your risk of cavities due to dental anatomy, practice thorough oral hygiene, consider dental sealants to protect vulnerable teeth surfaces, and discuss orthodontic treatment options with your dentist or orthodontist if needed. Environmental factors. Environmental factors, such as living in areas with fluoridated water or exposure to secondhand smoke, can also impact your risk of cavities. Fluoride is a naturally occurring mineral that helps strengthen tooth enamel and protect against decay. Eating disorders. Eating disorders, such as anorexia nervosa, bulimia nervosa, and binge eating disorder, can have serious consequences for oral health and increase the risk of cavities. Individuals with eating disorders may engage in behaviors such as self-induced vomiting, excessive dieting, or binge eating, which can expose teeth to stomach acid, erode enamel, and promote decay. Additionally, poor nutrition and electrolyte imbalances associated with eating disorders can weaken tooth enamel and compromise oral health. Pregnancy. Pregnancy can also affect oral health and increase the risk of cavities due to hormonal changes, dietary habits, and morning sickness. Hormonal fluctuations during pregnancy can increase blood flow to the gums, making them more susceptible to inflammation, bleeding, and gum disease. Additionally, cravings for sugary or acidic foods, morning sickness, and changes in oral hygiene habits can contribute to cavity formation. Pregnant individuals should prioritize oral hygiene, eat a balanced diet, and visit their dentist for regular checkups and cleanings to maintain oral health during pregnancy. Chronic health conditions. Chronic health conditions, such as diabetes, autoimmune diseases, and cardiovascular disease, can impact oral health and increase the risk of cavities. Diabetes, for example, can affect blood sugar levels, immune function, and saliva production, making individuals more susceptible to gum disease and tooth decay. Individuals with chronic health conditions should work closely with their healthcare providers and dentists to manage their condition and maintain optimal oral health. Substance abuse. Substance abuse, including alcohol and drug abuse, can have serious consequences for oral health and increase the risk of cavities. Alcohol and drug use can lead to dry mouth, poor nutrition, and impaired judgment, all of which can contribute to decay and gum disease. Additionally, individuals who abuse substances may neglect oral hygiene practices and engage in behaviors that increase their risk of cavities, such as consuming sugary or acidic beverages. If you or someone you know is struggling with substance abuse, seek help from healthcare providers and addiction specialists who can provide support and resources for recovery. Lack of dental care. Finally, a lack of access to dental care can significantly increase your risk of cavities and other oral health problems. Regular dental checkups and cleanings are essential for detecting cavities early, removing plaque and tartar buildup, and preventing further decay. Without regular dental care, cavities can progress unchecked, leading to more extensive damage and the need for costly and invasive treatments. To protect your oral health and prevent cavities, prioritize dental care, schedule regular checkups and cleanings, and address any dental concerns promptly. Cavities are a common dental problem that can be caused by various factors, both obvious and sneaky. By understanding the sneaky reasons behind cavities and taking steps to prevent them, you can protect your oral health and maintain a beautiful smile for years to come. Remember to practice good oral hygiene, eat a balanced diet, avoid habits that increase your risk of cavities, and visit your dentist regularly for preventive care. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.